on today's menu. Cadbury Breakaway Chocolates. These are essentially large chocolate blocks. Wafers covered in chocolate of three different flavors. Iced coffee, dairy milk, and caramel. Keen to try them out. Let's get into it. So let's start off with the dairy milk. As usual, we'll have a look at the contents. It's 180 grams total. Sugars, that is very high, 48.9 per 100. Fats, 34.5 per 100. And sodium, 92 milligrams, that's quite low. Nice and handily, these are resealable packs. So what do we think of this one? Very nice, I thoroughly enjoy this. I do enjoy wafers to begin with. So in a nice Cadbury Dairy Milk chocolate package, I would give this nine out of 10. The only downside to the product is of course, it is extremely high in sugar. You'll be able to see this on a product table at the end of the video. Up next, looking forward to this one. This is the iced coffee flavor. Again, it's 180 grams. Ingredients, 48.8, it's just as high as the other one. Fats, 34.5, exactly the same as the other one. And sodium, a 92, pretty much the same as well. Let's see how it tastes. So the iced coffee flavor, just as good as the dairy milk one, I would say. Does taste like iced coffee, that's for sure. So which one you prefer? I would say purely comes down to preference. That also gets a solid nine out of 10. And finally, we have the caramel version. Caramelized white chocolate. I'm usually not a fan of caramel. So let's see how this tastes. Still 180 grams, it's extremely high on sugars now. It is actually over 50% at 50.1 grams per 100. Fats, 35.5. Again, it is higher than the other two. And salt, very similar, 95 milligrams, which is not too bad. And lastly, the caramel. So this flavor is fundamentally the same as the other two. Do still enjoy it, but I do think they've taken the sweetness one step too far. So just a little bit too sweet for my taste. That one gets an eight out of 10. Now time for a conclusion. All of these three products taste great. The only downside to the product is of course, the ingredients. They're extremely high in fat. They're extremely high in sugar. This one in particular has the highest sugar content of all the products we've had so far, which you can now see on the table here. The other two don't fare too much better, so the ingredient scores are going to be quite low for all three products. The other thing would be value for money, so let's be fair and take the recommended retail price of $5.50. At 180 grams, value for money score is not going to be too high either. So ultimately, this is where they sit on the table of products we've ranked. So in conclusion, these are great once in a while treats. Just be aware of how many you're eating. They're definitely not good for you. Thank you for watching. I'll see you for the next one.